Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. There's a couple of segments of our two. Quick update, NFL New England. 13 Jets, 10. You guys were talking yeah. during the break. Uh, the, the, the Jets win this game. Uh, basically, Mark Sanchez is never going to play again. Nope, not in New, not in New York. There is no way. Well, right now. Good chance he's not going to play in New York anyway again. I mean, he's out. No, you're season. right. I, I would say it's a 90% chance he's never playing again uh, coming into this game because... Marty Morningweg, the new offensive coordinator, he's there to draft his guy, Geno Smith. Right. They give him the reins. He wins the first game on a fluke, really. But he has looked kind of good at times. Mm -hmm. Right. Kind of good enough to where you say, wow, this young guy's got some promise. Well, I'm glad you said that because it balances out the show's opinion. James, you know, remember remember before the show, James, and I said to Boschetti, uh, do you want Geno Smith to be the Jets quarterback? For the last time, no blacks or Jews. Mm. Well, I, yeah, yeah, right, but I... I wasn't here when he said that. I tried to reason with him. For the last time, no Geno. blacks or Jews. All right. I'm oh, gonna... no. Mike. <laughs> I'm so glad that you... Well, you, yeah. You know, you have a different opinion. Well, I, I do think that Geno <laughs> is... Uh, He's talented. I don't like yeah. the way he conducts himself a lot of times. I'm trying to think of Jewish quarterbacks. Of Jay Fiedler <laughs> is the only one I can think of. No, really? well, Arch Leister. Uh, okay. Oh, was, yeah. he, was he Jewish? I don't know. He was. Fiedler is de was definitely Jewish. Long Island guy. Yeah, I, I remember Jay that. Fiedler. Arch yeah. Leister, I believe, might have been. Okay. Jewish. No, maybe he was. Okay. Jewish know. quarterbacks, not not many of those. <laughs> Bernie Kosar, <laughs> right. baby. <laughs> right. Really? Bernie, yeah, Bernie Kosar. Great. Is great he Jewish? He was Jewish. Really? Look it up if you want. I believe you. I didn't. I didn't know that. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know any. Pass the dreadle, Bernie Kosar. Yeah. And I think, right. unlike Koufax, he played on Yom Kippur. Or Sean Green didn't do that either. Bernie hey, I found, yeah. out, I found out what the things, the hair things are called. What are they called? Payas. Yeah. Yes. yes. Payas, right? I said it last night, absolutely. You did? Yeah. Oh. He All didn't right. say it last night. I did. Night. I, I said Payas. I know what they are. Definitely off. didn't. Yeah, I don't think he did. Well, but but okay. anyway, I believe I believe <laughs> Maybe you Maybe Mike did. Know, we, yeah, we just didn't hear it. Just ignored me, guys. I, I said it, but that's okay. All, All right. right. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. Well, as far as this game goes, it's a, it's a lot closer game than most people thought. Uh, I thought it would be close just because Brady is limited so severely weapon-wise, and he's been up in arms this entire game scowling, giving the stink eye to his receivers. Someone's giving you the stink eye. Because they're just running the wrong routes most of the time. Is or that true? How does that happen in the NFL? Because... How does that happen most of the time? I can see one or two. Most of the time, they're running wrong routes. Remember when Chad Johnson went there and he had so much uh, success... Chad Ojocinco. He couldn't a different, learn the playbook. Yeah, and he had success in a different offense. He gets there, and there's so many sight adjustments in their passing tree. Basically, uh, that means that as a receiver, if you see this coverage, you run this route. If you see this coverage, you run this route. Brady knows it all. So he expects you to run the right route, read the coverage properly. And these young guys, he's got three rookies and Julian Edelman out there. Edelman's doing the right thing, but you know he's getting covered some. He's got 13 receptions. Right, so. and Dobson's Brady never played. No, caught a touchdown you got a touchdown, game. right? Never, never right, played. Right, and then uh, Tompkins had a uh, big catch, but you know Brady's looking at him sometimes and just like, what are you doing? Why, why did you run that route? So he's frustrated. Uh, their offensive output is pretty horrendous. The Jets' defense is actually pretty solid, and you know they've got seven new starters on that side of the ball, six or seven new starters. And I think they've really improved from a physical standpoint, uh, getting rid of some of those older guys. But and these are guys who are listening to Rex, and he's taking a bigger hand in the defense. I think they look good. So are you saying it wasn't that Ocho Cinco's fault for being a jerk off? It is hard to learn that, and a lot of guys go through that? I guess so, yeah. I mean, you would think that a guy with as much experience as he had would have grasped it a little faster. He was a great player. Yeah. You know, he's missing his, not to get nerdy football, but his check down. You know, guy who's a safety net because he had Kevin Falk all those years. Then Woodhead, you look at what Woodhead did for them last year. Mm -hmm. Leon Wash Washington is old. They tried to cut him. They had to bring him back when they got and, Marine injured. And now he's injured, Right, too. and they don't have anybody that that's when a, there's a rush and the guys aren't running the right routes, there's nobody sitting there five yards out yeah. that's just waiting to, for a check down. There's nobody. Nobody. Yeah, that's a good point. That's Nobody. a very good point. Did you, you know on the last drive 
last week, uh, Patriots' last drive to win the game on that field goal, he, Tom Brady threw the ball seven times, targeted two players, Amendola and Shane Vereen. Sure. Now, Amendola and Shane Vereen are no longer playing. Okay. They're both hurt. So basically, the only two guys that he trusted when in the crunch mm -hmm. are now on the sideline. This reminds you know, you just said Woodhead. I'm going to just bring the girls in here. Can we bring the girls in here? I'm going to do a little comedy, uh, a comedy exercise. This will be a stand up comedy exercise, Mike, okay? Okay. I right. want to bring the girls in on this, kind of like an improv thing. Oh. Uh, love that. Okay, you ready? Here's the thing the punchline is Woodhead. <laughs> All right? We're going to take a break. But I want to tell you this, okay? The punchline girls uh -huh. is Woodhead. Okay. Of a joke. You have to th give us the setup. Oh, God. The punchline's Woodhead. You have to give us the setup. Okay. All right? And we'll go to you, two, Bachetti, myself, and if you guys want to play, fine. Do you I'm mind playing? Of no, I, of course I don't. Woodhead. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll think. come back. The punchline is Woodhead. You guys have to give me what you think the setup would be, all right? Maybe I'll have you write it down. I gotta think of the logistics here. Maybe you can write it down and we'll all read it. That's what we'll do, all right. Uh, during the break, write down what you think the setup should be and I'll read them off. Do can we just come up with like our own joke? Yeah, the punchline's Woodhead. Okay, okay. All right. got it. Okay, write it down during the break, back at the... Welcome back to the Audio Ag Show, the comedy exercise. Connected to sports, uh, you know, uh, Woodhead, the receiver for the Patriots. Uh, the the punch the punchline is Woodhead. Oh. The assignment was come up with mother. your own come up with your own <laughs> joke. Okay. Here's Maurice. <laughs> I'm made out of wood like Pinocchio. What? <laughs> Woodhead. <laughs> Woodhead. But that's I'm made out of. I'm okay. I don't understand. I don't get that. You either. made a statement. You didn't ask a question. <laughs> oh. What, what, oh, you should listen to oh my mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Who is this? It's Liz. <laughs> is I that a Liz? Every time I hit my head, I get Woodhead. Would a wish I worn a helmet. <laughs> Every time I hit my head, I get Woodhead. Would a wish I worn a helmet. By Liz. I spelled like wood, like though you I, just, I'm not, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm not going to try to delve into it. I got uh, one. Uh, all right. Uh, I think wh it's, where's yours? It's on the other side of the baseball. I think. This one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim Dugan. Remember him? You, yeah. He loved that two by four. What do you What do you think he did when he won a match? Retired to the locker room, teething all sorts of, feeling all sorts of saucy. <laughs> What? I don't get it. Say that Hacksaw again. Hacksaw Jim Give me Dugan. that. I'll read it. You got it. Give me that. I'm sorry for ruining it. Don't you remember Hacksaw? Anybody else Fif wrestling? Yes, here? absolutely. Fifty Shades of Stern over it there. It says, yeah. remember Hacksaw Jim Duggan? He loved that two by four. What do you think he did with it when he won a match and returned to the locker room feeling all sorts of saucy? <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, all right, all right? Hey, I have right? one. I just made one up. <laughs> all right. Here's 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 Bruschetti's. There was this hooker where I lived that did that would help you, we'll say, under the boardwalk. We called her Woodhead. <laughs> what does the married woodsman miss most? That's that's good. That's, that's good. a good one. That's, oh, that's a good along one. that's along the lines of what that's see I one. I had what Pinocchio gets from his wife. <laughs> That's good. We That's both good. said Pinocchio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, we both said Pinocchio, but well, I don't understand yeah. how you use Pinocchio. <laughs> how do you use Pinocchio? Yo, I don't know, I thought he was made out of wood. Yeah, what does that mean, So though? he's a wooden head. So his nickname is, <laughs> his nickname is Woodhead? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How is that a joke? Yeah. I don't know what made a Pinocchio win, but they make fun of him and call him Woodhead. <laughs> I feel I'm one, you're two. Machete's three. <laughs> if, I knew, if I knew Duggan, I don't know. 
You don't know who Hacksaw Jim Dugan is. He always had the two yeah. by four. Yeah, of course. Stuck his tongue out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lazy eye. All right, let's yeah. calm yeah. down. Yeah, come on now. Let's calm down. So I'm was sorry. that an intercept? Uh, the game's over. Must have been a pick. Was it a pick from yeah. Gino? Yeah. That's three. Four? three? What, was that three? three picks or two picks and a fumble? Wow, how about the patch? 13 10. Three picks. Three picks. Look at that. 13 10. The Jets showed up. They did. That defense is solid. They got a good defense huh? without, without Revis. The Pats are in trouble. Without Revis. The Pats need well, they're two a and lot up. of help. They're 2 and up. They are, yeah, but. Geno Smith was 13 and 35, 214. Three interceptions for a 27.6 quarterback rating. Yeah. Mm. The Pats have won. It's not an amazing The night, Pats have I'm now right. beaten the Bills and right. the Jets, okay. both by a field goal. And both games came down to the, you know, the last minute. Both, both of those teams aren't supposed to be pushovers, though, this year. Well, the Jets kind of were. And, and the Bills were an unknown commodity. Entirely new coaching staff. Yeah. Marone from, from Syracuse. Tyrone Wheatley, running back coach. And Tyrone did, Wheatley. Did the yeah. Yanks win? Former giant running yes. back. Yes, they did again. They dominated. Beat Baltimore a third time in a row. Brett Gardner, though, oblique issue. So, yeah. I, don't, I, I, we'll I mean, see, again, uh, the Yankees are, are pulling pulling through here. They're, they're doing way better than I thought Half they Half a game out? When is the last game of the oblique season? Oblique issue? Yeah. So I, you, I don't know so, how he injured So no it, one... No one knows. No one knows what the no issue one. is. Well, what, exactly the is an ob- what exactly is an oblique? He has an oblique issue. It, it's yeah, no one knows. Already, it's impossible Woodhead. to tell. Yeah. It's oblique. Yes. That's what that was a joke. Uh, I know. I'm I'm in that joke that mode now, I guess. That was good. Well, I'll give you number two. Oblique is like right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you number two on that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. But we I, were thinking I, the same thing. Again, Liz and Marie, I think they really should uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they understood the assignment exactly. I don't think so either. That in and of itself is embarrassing. <laughs> no, I think you're supposed to make a joke and it's the punchline. It just Yeah, exactly. But maybe I understood it. Ernie, don't you remember our stand up right. comedy? <laughs> yeah, I know. Not but our thing. That's a different story. I know, but thinking of jokes. I think Mike 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 had a good one with the girl under the bo- girl under the boardwalk. Well, I couldn't wish you the you guys had a great one. Much more creative than me. Mine was just autobiographical. Oh really? Oh, well, now, well, now makes now makes it hilarious. I hope he's reading the book, not writing it. Now it makes it hilarious. <laughs> Casey, stick around if you want. Sure. And uh, we're gonna have John Avello on when we come back. Uh, and uh, John will talk some uh, some sports so odds from the Win Sports Book. Casey here, it'll be fun. The Artie Lang Show. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on Directv.